Hey everybody, my name is Tara and I'm going to be doing the Mix Girl tag. Um, I came across this tag because I've been watching a lot of uh, curly hair routines from Mix Girls and so on their channels they ha a lot of them had this tag on there so I decided to do it. Um, so, just getting straight to it. Um, the first question is, what are you mixed with? So my dad is Filipino full Filipino and my mom is Haitian with a little bit of um, French in it in her uh, so technically her dad is full Haitian and her mom is half Haitian and half French so she has like black with a little bit of white but usually I would just say um, I'm Asian and black so I mean it just it's a little bit quicker to say um, what ethnicity have you been mistaken for uh, a lot of people would say that they if they think that I mixed they would usually say Filipino, um, but they would also say Latina. So Filipino and Latina. Uh, they would say that, or some, I've gotten, um, one of my friends thought I was Asian and white until she said she came closer to me and she realized, like, my hair texture and stuff like that, and she realized that I must have been part black somehow. I've gotten one random person said they thought I was just a really light-skinned black girl. <laughs> that was pretty interesting, because, I mean... I don't even know, but, <laughs> um, and yeah, and some people, if they don't think that I mix, they would say, like, I don't, I don't know, they would say, like, Thai or something, something like that, but most people would, most people do guess that I'm Filipino and some other, um, Latina in there. Um, is your hair curly or straight? My hair is curly and, like, ten times curlier than this. Uh, the story with my hair is that I got it chemically, I've been actually, it was chemically straightened most of my life. I hated my hair for the longest, longest time until up until about huh, like three weeks ago, literally. Um, I always wanted it straightened, um, always, you know, growing up I was mostly around my Filipino side so I always saw their like perfectly straight hair and um, I always either flat ironed it with a flat iron since I was like 10 or um, at one point when I was a teenager and I would always complain about my hair, my mom would chemically get it done for me. She never wanted me to, she never did, but I kind of, like, really encouraged her to do it. Um, so pretty much the last time I got my hair chemically straightened, um, I got it done in the end of April of this year. And of course, you know, as you wash your hair, it kind of fades out and fades out, and so that's why it's a little bit on this, like, wavy, weird um, transitioning stage, but technically, it's a lot curlier than this, and I'm planning on growing it out. So, yeah, it's, the straightener obviously is faded out, so it's becoming, like, more, like, more natural, but um, it's a lot curlier than this. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's curly. Um, was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Um, I guess the only thing that was, I guess, challenging, not really, was the fact that, like, me and my brother look completely different, um, like, completely different, like, he pretty much took on, like, hardcore looking, like, the black side, and I came out looking more on the Filipino side, so growing up, a lot of people would be, like, shocked that we were related, and so, of course, sorry, of course, um, it was something that I always kind of wondered, I guess, about, like, that's funny that we look so different and stuff like that, but apparently, like, if you come from a mixed family, um, your siblings kind of do sometimes look different from each other, I don't know, but that was the only challenging thing, plus, actually, the one most challenging thing ever was my hair. Growing up, just all I remember, I had a diary and I would write down all the time like how I was so kind of like stressed out about my hair, like I just wish like wake up and it would be straight, like that kind of stuff because I was always brought up in neighborhoods where it's where um, it was white people, so pretty much most of 99.9% .9 of their hair is, is just straight and stuff, so um, mine is very a lot thicker than this and a lot curlier than this, so it was challenging. Um, that was the only part. Um, which backgrounds do you embrace the most? Honestly, because I come from like a completely different uh, ethnic backgrounds, like with both my family, um, we pretty much grew up Americanized. My parents came here when they were very young, so they grew up very Americanized. So I really did not associate with like any. I, I just considered myself like a mixed American girl. And um, 
maybe I would have associated more with the Filipino side if my hair was completely straight. But this hair will, you know, if you're mixed with black, it'll, like, it'll, you know, it'll affect you. Um, so that's what kept me, like, definitely associ associating myself with being mixed. Have you ever been teased for being different? Um... Actually, I don't know if I've ever been teased. Most people, when I was growing up, they would say it's cool that you're mixed. Except this one guy in high school. Um, he asked me where I'm, like, what my ethnicity is from. And, I mean, I had the biggest crush on him eventually, but I don't know. It was weird. But the whole point was, like, when I said I was black and Asian, he would, he'd, be, he'd say stuff like, oh, Blasian. And I don't know, like, he, I mean... I mean, it seemed like he was kind of, like, mocking it or whatever. But that's, like, the only time I guess I've been teased mostly with the girls it was or with most normal people besides that guy um they would they would think it's cool I guess um have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial no most of my life I actually liked it because it kind of made me a little bit different than a majority of the people um that I grew up with um but the only thing for a very very long time I just hated my hair like just hated it with a passion like you have no idea I hated it so much um but that was the only thing I kind of was ashamed of I would always be like why did I have to have such unmanageable hair and I'm just repeating this again my hair is 10 times more unmanageable than this it's in the process of growing out to be natural so it's still very relaxed right now I'm still a little bit scared because I really don't even remember how unmanageable it was because I haven't had my hair natural in a while so you know as I'm growing my hair out I'm kind of um getting a little nervous about how it's going to be because I don't want it to be so unmanage unmanageable again that you know I say I'm going to flat iron it um so if you have any tips please let me know um do you feel that being mixed has its benefits I don't think it has benefits necessarily. Um, I think anyone, no matter what race you are, you can have benefits. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it has its benefits, except maybe conversation-wise. Like, you know, if someone's trying to, like, start a conversation with you, and that, that could be kind of like a little bit of a, um, icebreaker like oh what's your ethnicity uh, yeah there's there's actually been a lot of people who would come up to me I guess guys that were trying to hit on me they'd be like I've been sitting like literally this happened like two weeks ago uh this guy came up to me and he was like I've been sitting in the corner trying to figure out what ethnicity you are and I couldn't figure it out what are you so that can be kind of like an in for them to talk to you so but that's not really beneficial for me but <laughs> What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? Um, I think it has most to do, mostly to do with the fact that, um, you know, our generation is becoming so open when it comes to, like, not, you know, be, not sticking with your own kind or kind of um, branching out and mixing with different ethnicities. I think that's the thing that makes it beautiful is that, you know, if, if you're very open-minded to other ethnicities and, you know, you have families with them, you're less likely, I think, to be, like, you know, um, prejudice, you're more, I guess you could be more open-minded. Um, any advice to someone who struggles with their multiracial identity? Honestly, um, I would say it, it'll, it's just a phase because I had that phase for a very long time. And like I said, it wasn't about being, I didn't like my ethnicity. I just didn't like my hair and it was just hard to manage it and for me it seemed like a burden so I would just say um, try to f it'll go it'll have you'll have your phase of I guess liking it or not liking it but what's most important is that you realize that it's actually pretty interesting to be multiracial and um, you can find something beautiful in anything so you can find something beautiful about the way you are so that's what I have to say and so um, I'm thinking of doing like videos of my hair transitioning from the way it is to like being full on my actual crazy hair. Um, so if you guys want to keep uh, tabs on that, leave comments below, let me know because I'm thinking of doing like hardcore like hair videos, which I never thought I would do because I, I thought I was just going to have a straight through my life, but guess not. But thanks guys for watching.